Hello, um, my name is Dirk Adriaansens. I was uh, one of the co-organizers of the World Tribunal on Iraq, and I was um, a member and I'm still a member of the Executive Committee of the Brussels Tribunal, which is in fact the continuation of the World Tribunal on Iraq, which started right after the invasion in 2003. If there was no network or organizations like like us or like you, then history would tell the story of the people who threw the bombs. We want to tell the story of the people under the bombs. And we think it is necessary to, to bring these voices uh, to the forefront. We have, I think, the, the best uh, archive also of uh, the uh, murder, deliberate murder of uh, Iraqi academics. When Dennis Holliday resigned in 98, he characterized the economic san sanctions imposed on Iraq as genocide, which it was. Because if you bomb civilian infrastructure, um, like sewage system, and you know that people are going to die because of that. That is biological warfare. And it's meant to kill people intentionally. And that's what, in fact, the United States and its allies have done. Iraq was a highly, at a highly uh, educated uh, middle class. There were a lot of doctors, engin engineers, and so on, who studied in the best universities worldwide, and, and they had a magnificent health and, and education system, which was considered as the best in, in, in the whole Middle East. And, and all that achievement was completely uh, destroyed by, by this invasion. Mr. Paul Bremer, immediately uh, uh, when he came uh, to Iraq, he ordered, uh, he issued some hundred orders which turned Iraq into a, a neoliberal state, you know, and, and he sold the assets uh, of, of, of the Iraqi military. He sold the assets and privatized the, the Iraqi economy. And so not only were the people killed, but they were also plunged in, into misery and poverty. Immediately after the invasion you know, the resistance of, of the Iraqis, Iraqi people started. Resistance that was characterized by the Bush administrations and, and Western governments and so on as terrorists. But, you know, the, the Iraqi resistance was the only legal thing in, in, in the whole Iraq issue. Everything else, the invasion, the occupation, changing the laws under occupation, what have you. It's, this is all forbidden under international law, except the right to resist if your country is uh, illegally invaded. And that's what the Iraqi people did, which um, spurred the, the, the Iraqi, uh, the US government to uh, take some measures um, and they unleashed, unleashed uh, debt squads and, and a lethal debt squad policy uh, on, onto the Iraqi people. So not only did the US government destroy the civilian infrastructure, but also the only people that would be capable of rebuilding their country, which is the middle class, and in fact, nothing in Baghdad has been uh, rebuilt. Nothing, nothing at all. There was a, a report of the Davids Commission in the in 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 Holland, where um, the highest uh, lawyers and judges um, uh, gave an opinion at the request of the Dutch Prime Minister if the um, Iraq invasion was legal, and they said they concluded that there was no adequate international legal mandate for the invasion of Iraq. I mean, where's the diplomacy? Everyone seems to have um, war plans and battle plans, but 
No one seems to have uh, a peace plan.